All righty, welcome to episode number eight of the podcast. And today it's going to be more of the embarrassing but vulnerable moments. And that's all I've essentially been doing for the last, say, month since being pretty consistent with this is that uh, I had a, a recent call about two weeks ago. And ironically enough, I've kind of talked a little bit about this, but essentially this is exactly what happened. I was saying that I wanted to do certain things, okay? I was saying that I wanted to make more money. I wanted to ensure that I had wealth. I wanted to make sure that I had money for a family that I don't have and money for kids that I don't have and have a great legacy for them, even though I don't have any kids or a wife or even a prospect of a wife. And he's like, okay, that's great. You've been saying that for about six months right now, and we're done talking about what you want to do. And I went over it in my head and I said, after the call, and I'm about to go into the further discussion that he had with me, is that essentially what he was saying is that what you're saying are not activities. Those are goals. Those are the vision, okay? You have a lot of people that say, when I get into shape, then I'll eat better. When I get into shape, then I'll go to the gym. It's like you have to go to the, sh you have to, go to the gym to get into shape. Uh, people say, I wanna, uh, once I start making money, then I'll start saving. It's like you actually save, then you start making money or you start building wealth. Uh, when I get into a relationship, then I'll become. Or once this happens, then I'll do something. And that's how I was operating. I was operating on the reverse of what I said last week. And last week, what I was saying is that the biggest cause, the biggest universal, the biggest cause of this simulation that we're all operating within is the, the law of cause and effect. Essentially, I wanted to have an effect. I wanted to have a goal without actually doing any causes. I didn't want to actually cause the goal. I was talking about the goal for six months. The goals I have on this 20 page business plan that they email out and it has everything from what's your commitment, what's your accountability, what's your why, what's your vision, what's your mission, what's your, um, and then they go into actual numbers. Like what are you gonna do per day? Are you going to go to the gym? I've talked about this many times. And then I have an accountability sheet that I meet with my buddy, not my buddy, but my business partner or partner, Eric, uh, real estate partner. And we talk about our day and are we holding ourselves accountable to that? And this is why he got mad because I'm essentially trying to cause something. I'm trying to cause a goal without actually having an effect on the goal. <laughs> That's crazy. I want to get into shape, but I don't actually want to do the things that gets me into shape. Okay. I actually want, I want a goal. And I was talking about all these things esoterically that they, they were like these things that were far away. Okay. And the first rule with visual visualization and affirmations is that it's happening right now and you are commanding it right now. I know we're all over the place on this. Keep with me because it's going to make all the world in the sense on where my wow, my realization, my flip of the switch came from where it was like, we need to stop talking for a second because that was powerful. So essentially I was trying to cause something without actually having an effect on the cause. So that was the first problem. Okay. So I had to remove that. I had to have an effect. I needed to have an effect. That sounds pretty basic compared to what I talked about last week is that you can only cause things that you cause and they have an effect afterwards. It's not the other way around. There's no cause without an effect. You need to affect the cause. And this could be, I don't have any money. My relationship is sour. I can't find a spouse. I, I can't find anybody. I'm out of shape. I have low energy. I can't sleep well. I'm drinking too much. I watch too much social media or video games or whatever the case is, is that there's always a cause to what you want to change. So reverse engineering, I have the goal. I want to race triathlons again. So that's the goal. Okay, let's make it simplistic for me. There needs to be a set of effects that happen. Okay, so the set of effects is that I have to train for the triathlon. I can't just show up to the triathlon and swim, bike, and run. I'll probably drown and then I won't finish on the bike or the run is walking the whole time. So in other words, you have to do activities, okay? 
So I'm gonna make it as simplistic as possible because I'm telling you right now, my 2023 is gonna be radically different than what I've been doing in 2022, in 2021, in 2020. 2020, 2021, and 2022, all I was doing was just flapping my lips and just saying, I want, I want, I want, I want. Why don't I have, why don't I have? Why isn't this happening? Why am I not racing? Why is I want, I want, I want, I want? It's just all a bunch of social media garbage where people are just, just chirping online about nonsense that they are not even doing. You know, it's the, it's the personal trainer that's completely out of shape. It's the, it's the you know, the, the personal finance person who has no money. It's the person who's talking about how to make millions of dollars and the most they've ever made is 100,000. You can't talk about something you've never done, okay? You can. I got no respect for you, okay? And to be honest, your followers or your following or your herd or your tribe or whatever you want to call it, they're not going to respect you as much. The reason we respect David Goggins is because he still does what he talks about. He didn't do this when he's in his 30s and still a Navy SEAL. He's still doing ultra marathons. That's respect. He's allowed to say what he's saying, okay? And to be honest, I don't think he's ever going to stop. So we have the goal, the lofty goal, whatever it is. I want to, for me, I want to get married, have kids. I want to be wealthy. I want to make a change in the personal development community. I want to be an international speaker. I want to have a big company called BPI. I want to, I want, it's, it's actually happening now. That's what I say in the morning. I want to start racing triathlons. So those are more short-term goals for next year. Start racing again. Hold myself accountable. So this is where the title of the video comes in. So you have the goal. Then you have, what should I do? Okay, I have to run a certain amount of times. I have to bike a certain amount of times. And I have to swim a certain amount of times per week. Okay, now that we have it per week, now we look at it per day, okay? And that's where everything happens. Everything happens per day. Nothing happens per month, per year, it's per day. What are your daily activities? So this is what he said. This is last month, before he got mad at me. <laughs> he said, okay, what are you gonna do? So I came up with the list. I'm gonna wake up at 6 a.m. I'm gonna have no a.m. inputs, which means that I don't look at my phone I'm going to do at least 10 push-ups. I'm going to visualize. I'm going to rebound. Then I'm going to go train. I'm going to have my phone at work, so it's not even around me. I'm going to be at work by a certain time. I'm going to make 10 contacts. I'm going to fast for 18 hours. I'm going to, I have all the things that I want to do, all the daily activities. So those are the daily activities. Fast for 18 hours, daily activity. Be up at a certain time, daily activity. Train. So train for me is go to the gym for other people. So train is either running, biking, or swimming. 10 push-ups, okay? So these are all activities that I wrote down and I sent to him. And I said, these are my daily activities that I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna track it. He said, okay, great, how are you gonna track it? So I've talked about the app called Streaks, like streak, one, two, three, four, five, that's a streak of, not like streaking, going onto a football field with no clothes on. We're talking about keeping accountability, how many times you're doing it and whatnot. So it's called Streaks. It's a great app. It's free. I use it. No affiliation, but it's just amazing. And I did a presentation last Friday. The presentation could have gone way better. It did not go well at all. I was nervous for whatever reason. It was in front of 100 people, and I just really did not sell myself, my story, why I like streaks and everything else. It was over within like six minutes. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of embarrassing. And then at the end of the day, I have to look back on my day and I have something called Life Force. You know, obviously Tony Robbins has a book called Life Force. I've not read it, but I, I like the title, Life Force. So it's not just money, it's not just health, it's not just relationships, it's everything, it's life. What gives you life is all of it, okay? If you're lacking in one area, say health, I, I can't see yourself living a fully actualized, fully vibrational high state all the time if you're tired, if you're not sleeping well, if you're over shape, out of shape, if you can't make it up, you know, subway stairs, you know? So, and obviously this is for normal adults that are not, you know, there's too many people that are just putting 
things on the outside like I was for two and a half years and understanding that actually I was feeding myself terribly. Actually, I was the one that was not training. Actually, I was not the one waking up at 6 a.m. Actually, I was not the one that was doing push-ups. Actually, I was the one that wasn't visualizing or training or having the phone at work or making 10 contacts or fasting or eating healthy or a gallon of water every single day. So my life force, so now I track it. This is the whole point of the video. You must track it. And the reason you track it is because it's supposed to feel bad. You're not supposed to look at it and be like, I want a goal, but I'm not achieving the goal. Um, I'm not achieving the activities towards the goal. So for me is that if I train, I can then start racing or triathlons, Ironmans, whatever you want to call it, again. So the goal is to race again. The daily activities is to get on my bike, to get on my, put on my shoes, to get into the pool. I track that on streaks. I then, at the end of the week, add up how many times did I train out of seven days? How many times did I make 10 contacts a day? And it's working days, so it's five. So out of five days, Monday through Friday, how many days did I actually track, track, Contacts, how many times did I wake up at 6 a.m.? How many times did I do push-ups? How many times did I visualize? How many times did I, was I work at a certain time? The reason I'm saying this, oh, it just shut off. But the reason I'm saying this on my live stream, the reason I'm saying this is because once you start tracking the metrics, that is the only way for improvement. The only way for improvement is tracking your statistics. If you don't track your money, you have no idea where it's going. That's me. If you have no idea where your money is, you can't save it. You can't build wealth. You have no idea what subscriptions are still running. I had probably six subscriptions that were running and were just getting debited out of my account and I wasn't even using them. It was, it was embarrassing. I looked at my statement. I only look at it once a year because I'm embarrassed. And that's the only reason we don't track things because we're embarrassed by it. So to get any goal, to get any goal, you must actually have a tracking device for wherever you want to improve. You can't improve something. This is what he said, and this is why he got mad. He said, you're not tracking it. How do you expect to change? How do you expect to change if you're not tracking it? Like you... That's like saying I want to become wealthy, but you have no idea how much is in your bank account. You have no idea where your money is going. You have no idea how you're making your money, but you want to become wealthy. I want to get into shape, but you're not actually tracking, say, all the food that you eat, the time you go to bed, how much alcohol you're having, how much food you're having, how much time you go to the gym. We track it even if we go to the gym. I'm now doing 15 minutes of cardio. That's tracking. I'm now doing 16 minutes. That's tracking with improvement. I used to do bicep curls of 20 pounds. Now I'm doing 25 pounds. That's an improvement. That's tracking it. And as much as we don't want to track it, people don't go to the gym and just start lifting random weights. Maybe some do, but most people are like, listen, I know I could lift this because I did it last week. Hopefully I could lift a little bit more this week. Okay? I saved this amount in 2022, in 2023, I want to up the percentage from 5% to 10% of my net income or my net pay, whatever it is. I used to go on a date night when we first started dating for the first six months, but from month six to month 12, I haven't had any date night. And then you say, I'm gonna track my date nights? Yeah, well, if you're tracking everything else, one of the most important things is saying, I love you, or tracking that you have a date night, you're tracking that you're even nice to your spouse, or that you're kind, or you're listening, or you're not giving feedback, or whatever is the annoyance in the relationship, you track that you're not doing it, because that's when the explosive arguments happen. If you're not tracking your money, that's when the bankruptcy happens. If you're not tracking your body, that's when the emergency happens. And the biggest health emergency in the United States is going to even grow exponentially, which is that emergency thing that happens out of nowhere. It could be a stroke, 
that do with diabetes. It could be a heart attack. It could be a whole assortment of things. Or the doctor tells you bad news. That's the most expensive part of bankruptcies and divorce is money. The biggest part of bankruptcies is health. So if that's not getting tracked, bad things potentially could be happening in the future. And it's not woe is me about a bankruptcy or whatnot, and I'm not talking about health. It's because it wasn't tracked. And I want to start now before something really bad happens. I told my coach that 2023 is the year to make it or break it. That is a fact for me. I don't know if it is for you, but that is a fact for me. He knows the exact details of why. I'm not going to make that public, but he knows exactly why. Once I'm through, I will make it public. But while I'm going through what I need to do on a daily basis, and that even includes posting content, okay? So, title of the video, why he got mad at me. I was saying something. I didn't have any daily activities. That was the first call he was mad at me. The second call he was mad at me is because I wasn't actually tracking it. I was saying I wanted something, and I said here are the activities, but I wasn't tracking it. And that's when he got heated. He got mad. He's like, you're, he was like slamming the desk. He's yelling at me and everything else. And it's true. And by the way, that's the way I like to be coached. I don't want like, you can do it, Charles, or have confidence. I don't like that kind of coaching. I, it's, just not, it's just not for me. I didn't like it in sports. It's just how I am. So this is what I have to say to you, is that you have a goal. Then you have to make daily activities. And then you have to track the daily activities. And it sucks. I'll give you an example for me. 6 a.m. club, only twice out of seven days. No a.m. inputs. I hit zero for this week. When my alarm went off, I went on my phone. A.m. inputs is only after I start training, only after I'm done training, I should say, will I go onto my phone. 10 push-ups, I did seven out of seven. Visualize and rebound, I did seven out of seven. Train, I hit 100%. So there's good and bad. But this is the most important thing at the end. My life force from, so I do nine out of 10 life force is like, how do I feel and was I productive? How do I feel, was I productive? And I do this at the end of the day. Nine out of 10 life force. I hit zero for this week. Seven out of eight, only twice, and the rest were six and below. Five out of seven days, I was six and below. You're not going to like the results, but if I don't know, because I don't know how I felt on Friday. At the end of the day on Thursday, I don't know how I felt. But once you start tracking, you say, oh, actually, I've had more sixes instead of sevens and eights. Or I've had more sevens and eights than nines and tens. Okay, nines and tens may be rare and whatnot, but if you are coasting at sevens and eights, you're doing well, okay? So I highly recommend tracking because it will show you where not only are you weak in all the activities that you're doing, that's number one. Number two is you get this feeling, this desire to change. That was the end of today's call is that you have this desire to change. If you have no desire to change, guess what happens? No change. That's what happens. Cause and effect. No activities, no effect. No going to the gym, no getting into shape. So track your activities. I recommend Streaks app. That's what I use. If you're not using that, doesn't really matter if you use it or not, to be honest for me. But there has to be a spreadsheet where it says, I woke up at this time, I visualized blah, 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 throughout your entire day. All the activities throughout your day, people will think it's militant, they'll think it's too much, this is over the top, blah, blah, blah. But if you're not making improvement, this is why. This is why. You're not tracking it. You really don't care enough. That, that was the quote. He said, if you're not tracking it, you don't care enough. I'm like, no, I do care. He's like, no, you don't, because you're not tracking it. I was like, no, seriously, I, I, I can't. He goes, stop. Until you track it, until you see it, until you understand your activities, you don't care. And then when I started tracking that, I was having a lot of bad days. That's when I said, okay, I got to wake up at a certain time. I got to not be on my phone. And I got to get to work at a certain time. And then my life force will move up. My activities will move up. My bank account will move up. Then we'll track my bank account. 
I'll maybe find a spouse. I will find a spouse. Then we'll track that. Am I good a husband, good boyfriend, good fiance, whatever the case is. So hopefully this helps. I know this was more of a, a rant, but it, it really has helped me out. You're gonna see an absolute explosion in 2023 for me, and this is why. I have tracked everything. Um, I know what's his name from Ridiculousness, Rob Dyrdek does this, and he knows to a fact where all of his time, where all of his activities go and everything else, okay? And I love it, okay? This is only for really the top 1% of psychos out there who are willing to go to the extra mile. The rest of the people are just gonna hopefully track it, but there has to be some improvement. Life cannot happen without improvement, and without improvement, to the highest degree, everything is tracked. It's being tracked whether you know it. Your health is being tracked by your heart and your lungs and your organs and your blood. And then you go to the doctor once a year and then they say, here are the results and they're not so good or they're really good. And that's how it's tracked. So your money is being tracked either way. Your relationships, your business, your money, your wealth, everything is being tracked whether you know it or not. Why not be proactive? Why don't you be aware of what your attraction, or I'm sorry, be aware of where you are, where you stand in all areas of your life. That's the true essence of personal development. So hopefully this helps. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Have an amazing day. We shall talk to you soon.